Hi everybody, welcome back to a new channel International and and today we play some more Arts of Iron 4 with Stalin, with the Soviet Union. Today it's the 2nd of September 1939, so the Second World War has just started and, and the German Reich is invading Poland. We signed the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact, so we're expecting, of course, uh, to get some sort of reward and the Germans will keep um, Eastern Poland last so we can start then getting ready for the next steps let's say of this uh conflict when we will have to uh, create a sort of line that we have to defend in the future warsaw is already done wow that's that has been fast and here i made a mistake i'm going to change this um division into a tank division finally Because uh, it will take a while before this is completely filled. At the moment they are mostly uh, trucks, but I also want to have some medium tank here, which I, I see a zero. What am I producing then? Basic medium tank, right? Right, why minus 240? Why do I see a zero? That's, that's not. Ah, okay, okay, they arrived. Right, we have our first 112 uh, T32. And we are going to have one tank for the invasion of Finland, alright. This is gonna happen soon. Uh, first, I want to go get close to the Leningrad Polytechnical Institute. And by the way, um, I think that now I can try to free the Dr. Sorge, which should be here in prison in Mexico. And then I will move the spies in Finland and we get ready for the Winter War. Alright. Production cost plus five. For train supply hub and railway now I don't really mind let's say cruise shot don't let's get cruise shot that's it okay that's what we do all right we have three civilian factories we are building up uh, some railways which is great but um, I want to have also some synthetic refineries here and then we move on and we uh, start building more military factories. By the way, I should have enough... No, I don't. I still don't have enough uh, gun to stop importing. Easy. It is as it is. Good. All right. Now we can decrease the amount of support equipment to a six, I would say. Aris is already capitulated for real on the 1st of November 39. Guys, this is this is massive. My goodness. My goodness. Wow. <laughs> that was fast. I wasn't expecting that so fast. Usually. Sometimes Poland is still resisting in November. Isn't it? Man, that was, that was really a lot. Okay, that, that's fine. So, uh, Kalinin is giving stability. Wozniczenski um, infrastructure and crucial of more political power, more support to communism and more common power. So, that's not bad. Next step is going to be Vlasov for infantry. All right, and more rubber processing. Can you conceive a greater objective for the Germans in the air? And then we need to start updating the Red Army because it didn't start yet, and that's pretty. It's a disgrace. <laughs> We're gonna fit enough enough uh, tanks. Yeah, sure. How many tanks can we still do? Another okay, another nine factories. Mm. So. It, Looks good. Looks good. They were frustrated in their task. We got the army away. And they have paid fourfold for any which they have 
right. And now we can start using the Algit Pro, absolutely. Under the leadership of Stalin's political power, war support. That's not bad. Alright, so... Mm, now here you see that my troops are suffering, but they're all basically um, in the trenches. And I'm not going to push in this area. What I'm going to do as soon as I have the Casas Valley on uh, um, Finland, I'm going to push in this area, get to Helsinki and then Turku, Tampere, then back and get them from the back. I could also, I could have also considered um, another invasion, but yeah, it is as it is. Yeah, we are almost there, so now we stop the trainings. Since Popov is actually uh, attacking, it would be a good idea to move him uh, together with uh, uh, Zhukov. Now we start moving all our air forces here. So we can use the, the fighters to secure the skies, and that's going to be easy. So, another thing that we need to consider, and we do it now, otherwise I'm going to forget, is to uh, build up uh, as, as fast as possible some level 5 infrastructure that brings to the Polish front that leads to the Polish front, sorry. Contra Scandinavia, I am not gonna I'm not gonna do it. Positive heroism. Oh Rokosovsky, that's amazing. I want this guy. But I also want to research, so let's move uh, let's continue. Military Engineering University. And we should do now a kind of ultimatum, right? Which I can't do. So let's specialize. Consumer goods factory in civilian industry because it's decreasing the consumer good factory factor. Can I just declare war on them? Not really. So let me see what, 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 what happens now. If are they receiving maybe a yeah, 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 yeah. Fine. That's an event. So, declare war. Conquer. So, the first thing we do, you push, you push. Wells is here. Who's this guy? No, that's up. Uh, you move uh, as fast as possible to Helsinki. Let's see if it works. Well, it doesn't look like... doesn't look that they have a lot of men. They don't have a lot of troops here on the border, right? One little division. Ultra, ultra trenched. Uh, uh, yeah, of course. But... My, my boy. <laughs> it's not that cool, right? I'm not even going north. I let them push and and fight. I don't really care. Okay. From an industrial perspective, we are good. We can start the computing machine here. And you, my friend, uh, you can move. This way. And then this way. So the, uh, the things we then just get a peace treaty, and I will re refuse, and I will uh, try to fully annex Finland because, yeah, why not? 
right? So I have 109 civilian. That's too much. I mean, that's never too much, but that's that's enough. Let's move more into uh, military factories. Seems that Sorge died pity because I wanted to keep him, but fine. Well, let me say that's not a difficult war at the moment. Where is it? Yes, sir. Boys, I'm just doing this now. Okay, we need all Finland. <laughs> we need all of Finland. So now we have uh, 20 factories on tanks and this is going to be very useful. What I don't have yet is a model with cast, so with a uh, small airframe still. And we take the cast template, we add actually a small bomb block, which is a ground attack 8, because the bomb block is just a 6. The anti-tank cannon, what can it do? Round attack 8, agility, no. Let's take a second bomb block, right? Shall, shall we? We also give a special module. Yeah, some defense. Looks good, right? Can't save it because the weight is too much. Okay, fine. That's, that's okay. Let's save the LB, LBSH. And let's give 10 of them. While in Moscow now we release five wings and we start training them. Right, it seems that Finland is really not capitulating no matter what and uh, fair enough. Let's push further. Let's push for further. Um, then we will have around about one year to get ready against the Germans. It's not a lot of time, but we do our best. Hey, come on, man. Stop it. Stop resisting. That's funny. That's funny, they're resisting. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, now, as you can see, we have a very big portion. And uh, yeah, so I am going to draw a line kind of so until here where I have the supply hub in Rovaniemi. Just pick this and I'm going to, okay, whenever this gets uh, updated, I'm going to build it up. And what I'm going to do now 
I need to have uh, some defensive lines and I'm going to beat them uh, basically in this episode. All good, all good, all good. Engineering is fine. Maybe the battle rather is... Maybe... What do they do? Uh, did they just uh, the commission or Kosovsky? For real? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, let's start with the defensive lines. And I'm gonna use... A winter general. Oh, oh. oh, finally. This boy. Yes, sir. There's a good amount of uh, uh, consumption, so what I will do. something like this all right and then we are going to put a couple of good infantry leaders on the German border one on the Hungarian border Rokosovsky also on the German one on the Yugoslavian, one on the Bulgarian. And here we take also Fulbeck line. Slightly behind them. Just in case. That's, at the moment, this is the defensive line. Let's see then what happens later. And finally, when I have 210, I take the extensive conscription. army will have also some uh, uh, railway artillery uh, by the way I'm doing a lot of military factories but I also need to strengthen up our lines and everywhere okay perfect This looks good. Honestly, looks good. Fine, fine, fine. So, we have a bunch of aircrafts. Not that many, but for the time being, with around 2,000 fighters, we can defend the skies. But we need to start us up preparing the defenses. All right, so and I'm going to put some logistic companies in the tank division. This is going to decrease the supply usage. And I'm wondering if I should do the same here. Nah. Perfect. All right, I might consider uh, increasing really <laughs> the recruitment, the, the drafting law. <laughs> that I need it. And let's go on cohesion first, or restore the cost. Of course, cohesion first. 
<laughs> that was funny. So they will invade in the summer of 41. Now let's see what happens in Italy and uh, Yugoslavia and Greece, of course. Oh, the Brits already invaded Albania, but usually when this happens, you know, the, the, the Axis manages to um, actually get it back. What I see is that the Allies are pushing the Italians far away from Ethiopia. And probably they will also capture Tobruk, which means that Italy might lose Libya. Yeah, looks like. So the mill are almost ready. Then we go for some very good uh, train reform. So we have a lot of very high level supply. And then I might consider... Um, Building up like a small but consistent defensive line. Which I'm gonna move here on the border. At the moment, one or two, then I'm going to increase the amount of force. Not bad. That's good. That looks good. Alright, so we have the cars, we have the tanks, we have the trains, uh, we have a lot of very, very good, interesting stuff. What is missing at the moment is the anti air, which I never produced, and I'm going to start right now because I'm going to equip the infantry with the anti air. Probably I should have also researched a better one, but might it might be late now. Let's see what we can manage to do. No, 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 not that way, All right? What I could do... Let me see. Oh, yes, gonna work. Another two, uh, two infantry armies. Another two infantry armies. Uh, we, uh, we have enough, we have enough... Uh, capacity to do that. Great. And now we go to Kratos the anti-air. Now we won't manage to get a better one, but let's still fine. I mean, in the end it's better than nothing, right? Perfect. Now I can push uh, the button and speed up the construction of my uh, our railroads. And I think I need to improve my defenses. All right, and then I will go for the military reorganization. So. Then I can, I can say that also my army looks almost professional, almost professional. By the way, I think I'm going to change for the time being the flexible organization and I'm moving to static warfare so I can entrench faster and deeper. That's the idea. I didn't use the um, experience for my air forces, but I, I will need someone soon now, yeah. All right. Uh, 
Let me check. Okay, we are still building up the railways and in Kazan, the last milk factory. And then we will have 88 military, 114 civilian. That's pretty, pretty good, really. A lot of oil. And regarding the engineering, it's a 40, so we start the atomic research. Now that we have five slots, I definitely want to do that. It's just fun. <laughs> it's, just, it's just fun. Okay. So I just steal some technology from the Germans. That's that's also fun, right? All right. That looks pretty good. And we have a lot, a ton of material, a lot of men, so we could even actually draft more troops, but but it's not necessary. Might consider just adding a couple of extra tanks because, yeah, we need them. But that's it. So now we have. Uh, um, where's the where's the anti air? Nine hundred pieces. I think that's not enough. We'd probably need five k if I add here a support. But let's see. Uh, 4k okay it was not that far away you see <laughs> i'm talking about the railways that's going fast so then we start soon the defensive line i really love this music though that's with trial of Legends. If you guys want to buy hearts Forum 4 and it's the dlcs uh, you can support me using my link on instant gaming. Be free to have a look at that. All right. Uh, whatever. I really like this part of the Soviet Union preparation for war. <laughs> So, infantry equipment and artillery and anti-tank upgrade, which is going on the cannon of my of my tanks, I think, right? Yeah. Actually, tank destroyer or whatever. So, after the military organization, I might go to the positive heroism, so I can get Rokosovsky as a military high command. It costs... 200 200 but uh, to the political points but i think it's worth oh look at this italy declared war on the kingdom of greece this is gonna be fun <laughs> this is gonna be fun I'm still in partial mobilization, by the way. I must move to uh, into war economy. Just because, you know, yeah, it's obviously more efficient. Should have done it earlier, I'm aware. Alright, so let's start uh, uh, moving into the next generation of tanks. So, we are gonna study the next one. And now I could really uh, build up more infantry and more everything. For the time being, I think that's gonna be that's gonna be okay. Another thing that I could do, I could increase the combat width of my infantry, honestly, because if I put now a combat width of twenty-seven and I also the artillery, that's gonna be thirty, and then I'm gonna add. Uh, uh, let's wait for now. This is gonna cost me seven hundred 
714,000 in power, 61,000 rifles, and 7,000 artillery, which is not too much. So if I remove the artillery, that's actually doable. Let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? 27 is an amazing combat width. And now um, you're going to see that I'm concentrating more firepower. Oh, by the way, those guys, uh, the artillery number one goes here and the artillery number two goes here. Let's go back to the, to the tanks and well 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 uh, amphibious I don't really care uh, that's it look finally I managed to go back to minus thousand rifles but yeah um it's not bad promise you okay we're good now and what we are gonna do Maybe those some radar and in some areas also the aerial defenses. And where I see a one, I move it into a three now. Yugoslavia has already capitulated, my goodness. Not, not so fast, please. Good. It looks good. Here I forgot something, I guess. Whatever. So, expert in camouflage, that's not bad. And. Well, it seems that our, our defensive line is getting stronger and stronger. Probably what I forgot. Definitely forgot. We need more air bases. Okay. something quite important <laughs> also I have also my um, Jesus I got some lines uh, in Turkey I completely forgot about that but thanks God I just realized Wow Not bad. Hmm. I mean, everything looks pretty okay for now. I didn't touch at all the Navy. What I could start doing now um, is a new generation of fighters. Because at the moment we have those very... Uh, yeah, that's actually quite a, I think it's a good idea. Because those guys here are not the best in the universe. I mean, they do their job, but... Hmm. So... I think that in the next episode we will probably see... We'll probably see the invasion, and it's gonna be fun. So, I'm going to close now. Uh, well, it seems that... Our lines are quite ready. We have a lot, a lot in the queue. Really a lot. I don't know if I will manage to build everything, but I don't really need the slash mine. If 
before the war starts, might might go for the five years plan. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and see you next time with the uh, Barbarossa defense. That's gonna be fun. <laughs>